Okay. We're using some really weird things. Now we're using melee defensive lyric cat, specifically melee defensive. We're only gonna use this against any melee attacker, any range attacker we immediately need to run from. This is the moves that we're working with here. Burglar Volcanic as Barter. This is supposed to be a defensive lyric cat. I have no clue if this is gonna work whatsoever. Or how to use it. But we're going to try. I might just send this off to Sakuza. Because he, he probably knows how to make use of this stupid thing. He probably can make use of it. I would never. <laughs> I would never be able to use this. Alright. Wish Lyric got some luck. <laughs> oh, Della Drinks. That's, a, that's, that's not the worst lead actually. So I guess we get to scout out what's, what Della Drinks this is. Is it very smart? Is it boots? Or is it very nimble? We're going to go for fadeaway. It should outspeed me, but if it's very smart, I think Sonogre definitely outspeeds it. Sonogre should definitely outspeed it. But yeah, it looks like it's either very nimble or it's specialty boots. So, huh. We're going to go into Snake Group here. We are using Snake Group. I was considering Gobby Demic, but I just realized I haven't used Snake Group in a while, so I decided let's bring Snake Group. So let's go for Muck Blast and Poison something. They didn't have a Halvantic, did they? Halvantic is always the bane of my existence. Genuinely, one of the most one of the most dangerous Lumias for me to fight is Halvantic. Not necessarily annoying, just dangerous. Because it's not annoying because it doesn't it quickly takes me down, but it's also it's just dangerous. Zulong, that's a, that's an annoying one, because now I always have to figure out how to play around these stupid things. How do I play around a Zulong? Because I don't know if I can. Obviously, Alejandro has no hope. We have range defensive investment. Wait, we have range defensive investment. Hold up, what? What? Okay. Okay, so we're definitely gonna get our cheeks clapped. I literally the only Lumion I can send in to even try and deal with the Zulong is Imperior. So we're gonna send in Imperior. And it's better be very smart, so I outspeed it. Oh! Oh, if it killed me... Oh, no! 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 How much does Resentful do? Oh, no! It does? Okay, that's something. Okay, now I'm hoping it's not very smart. Please be very nimble. Please do as little damage as possible so I can send in Fiskarna. Yeah, no, Fiskarna. Like, I send in Snagoo, but I don't know if it's very smart. And based on the way it's been playing, I don't think it is very smart. I'm gonna have to send in Fiskarna, take a Thunderstrike, and Mudslide. How much damage does this do? It does... Lots. I think that's smart nimble. Which is worst case for us. We KO it, but good, does that cost us so much? That cost an Imperior and most of my Fis and more than half of my Fiskarna. And Fiskarna generally needs to be at full or at least healthy because I'm switching this into things. I'm basically trying to pair my Lyric Hat with Range Bulky things so that I can take advantage of the. Uh... Okay, wait, is this melee? You know we have to try it. You know we have to try this. We're not winning this battle at all. But you know what we are doing? Wait, this is not secret ability. What? Whatever. You know I have to do it. This shouldn't do any damage. That does nothing! <laughs> specialty boots, specialty boots, specialty boots. Oh, it's specialty boots! Let's go! Resonate! Wait, did I not give Lyric at the Volcanic Ash? Oh, no, Immunize, right. Oh, I'm an idiot, right. Immunize. I don't think it kills itself, unfortunately. Yeah, but hey, Lyricon has boots now, <laughs> which I'll take because Lyricon actually runs boots sometimes. <laughs> okay, Lyricon's killing a Gargolem. <laughs> the melee defense is actually working. I didn't think I'd actually end up fighting a full-on melee Gargolem. This is perfect. Oh, I can give you specialty boots. But it's probably going to give me heavy shackles. Wait, no, it probably doesn't want to do that because I have specialty boots. We're going to switch into my stall breaker. Don't poison. I feel like something's playing in the background, but... 
That happened earlier today as well, and it wasn't. <laughs> it was actually a mud spider variant. Okay. I should probably send in my Snigoop. But I think instead I'll just have Sinogre whittle the crap of this... Whittle down this Venelin. Really far. As much as I want to go Lyric have to deal with this, I don't think it's necessary. Yet. Hmm. I think we click Fade Away this turn and go into Snagoop. I think that's what we do. I want to click Provoke with Lyricat, but I don't think I can safely. Here we go Snagoop, and does Provoke end? Provoke ends. Okay, so that means we have to go for another Provoke, which I'm completely fine with. Provoke! Venelon can't do crap. Snagoop is pretty much our only way of winning unless it can whittle something down and Lyricat can finish it off. Gen Honestly, I do feel decently confident Snagoop has what it takes. But there's no guarantee Snagoop has what it takes. I mean, I guess it could also be something that Sinogre can spite. If it's slower than Sinogre, which it probably won't be. There's a lot of fast Lumion, but Sinogre is also very nimble max speed, so you never know. A little bit of damage. Watch that matter. Watch that damage matter. There's no shot that matters, right? Like, that's not much damage at all. So this shouldn't matter, and I should be able to... What is the final buddy? It's going to be Obsidragon. Okay, I should be able to beat Obsidragon. Muck Blast, this should be a two-shot. Snagoop is very strong. Snagoop is a really powerful Lumion. I love I love how sh high of a range attack that it is, despite being a Seagull. Not saying his design's bad. I think I still outspeed this. Honestly, I think Snagoop is actually one of the cool coolest Lumions in the game. It is my favorite Lumion, of course. And, yep, we do still have speed. So, hey, Lyricat, that was pretty fun there. Lyricat could have picked off picked up after Snagoop. Anyway, so, awesome. On to the next one. I love that. I still can't pause properly. God damn it. All right, this guy was around during the Cavendish video, so hopefully that doesn't uh, bring me bad memories. This team, Lyricat, it's kind of similar to the previous team. Kind of. I mainly want Lyricat to deal with both Tyrex and Icicle. I think those are the main things we're going to try and deal with. Of Citragon, we could try. The others, they're range attackers, so not really. I can provoke Venelin, so that, that's something. I think I gotta bring Harva this battle. And I think we go Sinogre. Imperior looks pretty decent. I just don't really know how I want to fit Imperior. Yeah, no, I'm not sure how I want to fit Imperior in this battle. I swap I swap it out for Lyricat, but... Oh, actually, no. Snagoop is useless in this battle. What am I doing? Snagoop is useless. I love I look I we we all know I love Snagoop. It's it's my favorite Lumion. I've been attached to this one for so long. <laughs> ever since I started PvP, it was one of the first PvPs I ever used, and it was the best one. That's also why I like Vesperado and Yursel so much in PvP. They were also some of my first. I, nowadays I know not to use Yursel if I wanna have any sort of respect. <laughs> I actually kinda wanna switch in to my Harva. Because I have a Rage for Plushie, but I think Eloguana outspeeds me. And even then, I still don't want to do it. I could try Fiskarna. I don't think Eloguana should be doing too much damage to Fiskarna. I could also try going into Imperior. Let's do that. Eloguana, it's not super threatening, but at the same time, I don't really... That sucks! Oh, that really sucks! No! The only fast thing on my team is paralyzed. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Okay, okay, that's fine. I thought the paralysis was gonna ruin us. Now we're gonna send in Lyricat, and hopefully it's either Obsidragon, Tyrex, or whatever the other Lumion I wanted to deal with. What is? Don't be like. Okay, I outspeed whatever it is. It's an icicle. Pyrolin. And my freaking Imperior is dead. Oh, okay. And which Pyrolin set is it? I'm assuming it's the offensive one because he sent it in. So we're going to send in Fiskarna. Which is probably my best hope of dealing with this. Probably. I have peace of mind. So come on, bro. That's really bad. That's really bad for me. I know I'm acting like a kip saying that, but I just want I just want you to know 
I don't appreciate that. But thankfully, he goes for Shrewd Blast. I'm fine with Shrewd Blast. I'm just worried about him having a Rageful Plushie. I am worried about a Rageful Plushie, but I don't think he has one. So I'm going to go for Mudslide. I don't know why I said Mudslide like that, but it's, it's fun. It, oh! It did have a Rageful Plushie. I was right. I was actually right. Oh, no. Fiskarna, please live a hit. Don't get crit. Don't die. Not even close. Never mind. Why was I worried? This Fiskarna is amazing. I really love using it. I see why Jamie uses it all the time now. Like I, I stopped using my old Fiskarna, but this new one's been great. Smart Clever. It's been working out nicely than my old offensive smart nimble one. Like, I thought this, I wanted to use Fiskarna as an offensive Lumia because it's not its stats and it looked pretty offensive. Looked like it would work as an offensive Lumia, but I <laughs> I think we all know how that turned out. Here I can switch into Harva. I can preserve Fiskarna as a sacrifice for later, or I guess if I can, I can do something with it. Though it's probably just going to be a sacrifice. Now, what did he have? He has Obsidragon, but he hasn't said it in yet. He had... Pyrolin is dead. I think that's all we've seen. So we don't know what else he has, unfortunately. So that means I'm just going to have to click Soul Storm. This is an easy switch for him, but we don't know what he's going to send out. Ah, Tyrex. We all know what we want to do with you. I have Boom Bash on my Lyricat. Pers the set that was sent to me was Provoke, uh, Barter... You yeah, know, provoke, barter, resonate, and hypnotize. I didn't want to use hypnotize. Oh, you can actually change it in battle. Okay, good. So let's change the formation to look a bit more like, uh, yeah, something like this. I think that looks better. And I think I can also change my Harva too. <laughs> I like making these a little neater. I want parasitize to be up there. We're going to switch into Lyricat here. Lyricat's the perfect thing to deal with this Tyrex. Oh, no, if I switch in, I'm going to get burned. Ooh, right? Okay, well, I think any Lumion can accept the, the Volcanic Cast, right? Never mind. Okay, well, it's Venelin. Okay. Okay, give that back. <laughs> Give that back, give that back, give that back. Does headache, the splitting headache finally work? Headache split? <laughs> give me the ash back. <laughs> Probably not a good play, but I, I, I take that heavy shackles. Why you have burned then? Volcanic ash. I'm just bartering ash. I'm just bartering volcanic ash. Now, it might go for barter here, which... I guess if I... Hmm, don't be a bad play. It was kind of a bad play. I thought I got poisoned for a second. Okay, good. So, we know his last Lumion is Tyrex, but we also have Earthquake, so he doesn't have any easy swap in. So, Harva is looking pretty strong here. Earthquake! Ah, okay, we kill Venelin here. Because, uh, burn. So now, Volcanic Ash is gonna work on everything. He should definitely send in Tyrex here, in which, in that case, do I send Lyric at it? I don't remember how much Steel Crusher did, so I don't know if Lyric Cat survives the hit. Hmm. I think we just switch into Fiskarna. I I think we go Fiskarna, then Lyricat, then we go maybe back at the Harva. I don't think going to Nogre is the right play. All right, Fiskarna's in. Okay, that that stinks. That that no 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 that stinks. <laughs> Wait, hold on a sec, buddy. I'm gonna get a mudslide off. All right, let's go for mudslide. I'd frost beam to try and shiver, but I feel like there's no point in me risking that. Instead, I'll just get that nice critical hit with Mudslide. Although, the fact that that was a crit 
is frankly disturbing. That did not do much. I kind of think I should go for Boom Bash. But based on how little that Mudslide did, I think taking away its health amulet and giving it a nice little volcanic ash burn is better. I think that's better. Miss? A miss would help a lot. Never mind. I went for Earthquake. That makes sense. Harvest should be able to handle the Tyrex, but I just wanted to be careful. Now that it's burned, I think Harvest should be able to win. As long as we don't get too low. Oh, I should have sent in Sinogre first to weaken this. I'm an idiot. Okay, you know what? I can send in Sinogre now. I need to be very careful with my Harva. I need to be very careful. Its health is extremely limited. Okay, you're forced to rest here. Which doesn't really help me. I'm being careful. There we go. Spite. We're just trying to sacrifice Sinogre so we can get in our buddy Harva. If Sinogre kills the Tyrex, that also works. Spite again. I may as well just weaken Tyrex as much as possible. Earthquake. Does Burn kill it? I'm pretty sure it lives. Yeah, it survives. Alright, I may as well just go for a, a wait. Actually... Would Fade Away have been better there? He got another melee attack boost. That basically canceled out his burn for, uh... Yeah, no, it canceled out his burn. Dang. Well, Tap comes in now, and... I'm not gonna click Fade Away. I don't want to get outsped. <laughs> it all comes down to whether Harva can beat the Tatab. Which it should be able to... Timber Fresh shouldn't do much, but I'm scared. I'm actually not going to click Soul Storm turn 1. I'm going to click Parasitize. Reasoning is, I think Parasitize guarantees that I'll have enough health. I'm really careful around Tata. Tata, I want to make sure I can't lose this because it would be super embarrassing. There we go. Yeah, that, 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 that definitely feels safe. And now we'll end it off with a... You know what? Screw careful the Soul Harvest. He doesn't have enough energy. We're fine. Soul Harvest. It's a KO. Timber Frash. That's not going to kill no matter what, even if it crits. Yep. I take that very nicely. And Soul Harvest. All right. That went pretty nicely. Can I pause properly? God damn it, debut. What's wrong with you? I kind of want to end the video now. Yeah, no, I'll just end it here. Hope you all enjoyed the video, guys. Leave a like, everybody. Subscribe. Let me know what you want to see me do in the future. I doubt I'll bring this lyric out again, but you never know. And see you guys in the future.